Hi, I'm Ellis with Level Up RN, and in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to get a patient's temperature. I'll be utilizing the steps that we've included in our clinical nursing skills deck, and I'll be demonstrating all the different temperature sites, and those include oral, temporal, tympanic, axillary, and rectal. So if you have your cards, you can grab the temperature one and follow along with me. If you don't have the cards and you're interested in checking them out, you can head on over to levelupRN.com. I'm going to demonstrate all the different ways that we can take a patient's temperature. So with this thermometer, I can take an oral temperature. I simply remove the probe from the device, click a probe cover on, insert it into my patient's mouth into the posterior sublingual pocket. If they weren't a mannequin, I would ask them to close their mouth, sealing their lips around the metal probe. If they're going to touch it, by the way, which a lot of them do instinctively, right? You reach up to grab it. Make sure they're touching this plastic part here, because if they touch the metal part, they might alter the temperature that's being taken. Once I'm done, the, mon the monitor will beep, and I'll just eject the probe cover off by clicking the button on the back and I would reset the monitor by inserting the probe. This is also used to take axillary temperatures. So again, I remove my probe. I need to tell my monitor this time that I wanna take an axillary temperature. That's just one button on here. I'm going to insert to get my probe cover and I'm going to put it into their axillary midline and ask them to kind of hold their arm against their body so we can create kind of a seal to get an appropriate temperature. And I would do that, of course, on the skin itself. The monitor would beep, and I would remove it, and again, eject off my probe cover. This device is to get a temporal temperature, and I sometimes will have caps for these as well, so I simply place the cap on. I'm going to place it against my patient's forehead, click the button, and drag it along the hairline towards the ear. His temperature is 75.2. And then again, I can remove my cap in between patients. This thermometer is for your tympanic temperature. Oopsie. It has the probe covers on the inside as well, so I need to put on a probe cover. Because my patient is an adult, I'm going to grasp his pinna, which is this top part of his ear, and I'm going to pull it up and back slightly so that I can straighten out the ear canal. If he were a child under the age of three, I would actually pull his pinna down and back. So I'm going to pull his pinna up and back, and I'm going to insert the probe so that it is kind of pointing towards the jawline, which would be along that ear canal. And I'm going to click my button so that it would get his temperature. And once it beeps, I withdraw it. And just like my other ones, I do actually push this trigger button to remove the probe cover. So I'm just going to shoot it into my trash can. <laughs> And now I'm going to actually reposition him to demonstrate a rectal temperature. Now that I've positioned my patient in a modified left lateral recumbent position, which you might know as Sims position, I can take their rectal temperature. So you'll notice that these thermometers are exactly the same. The blue is usually indicated for oral or axillary temperatures, and the red is usually indicated for rectal temperatures. So make sure you don't get these mixed up because one will go in their mouth and one will go in their rectum. So I'm gonna set this one aside and I'm gonna use the red one for their rectal temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and expose their anus. I've prepared a packet of lubricant to facilitate the insertion, and this works almost identically. The only step I've added is the lubricant. So I'll remove the probe. I'll insert it into the probe cover. I'll get lubricant on it. I'll insert it into the rectum, approximately one inch. And I want it pointed towards the umbilicus or the belly button. I'll wait for it to beep. And then once it beeps, I simply remove it. And I can eject this using this button over my trash can. And then I would simply clean up their rectum and return them to a comfortable position. And that's how I get a rectal temperature. I invite you to subscribe to our channel and share a link with your classmates and friends in nursing school. If you found value in this video, be sure to hit the like button and leave us a comment and let us know what you found particularly helpful.